everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane Sovit and I'm so excited today because I'm reviewing the new Fenty Beauty products. So everybody knows that this has been like a super anticipated, big, like huge launch and I'm about to hype. <laughs> so today I'll be trying out, I've got three of her products and one of the tools, I've got the brush. So let's just get right into these. I'm gonna do a little get ready with me first impressions. Let's try these in California right now. And I just, I can't be bothered with this for right now. Really cute hanging down. If you haven't already, take a look at my hair. I got like 10 inches of hair cut off. Check out my blog, I'll leave the info in the description box below. Okay, so I literally haven't opened these. I haven't done anything. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this foundation. I got mine in the color 220. I honestly just kind of guessed. Um, ooh. Okay. This is, okay, this is really nice packaging. Um, it's like a glass bottle, and you can't really tell, but it, it's kind of like an odd shape. So it's got sides that are rounded, which are these sides right here, and the other two are flat. That's really nice. This bottle feels really, really nice. Slick packaging, you know, gorgeous, effortless. It's supposed to shake well on the bottle, so let's open the brush. See, I told you guys, I haven't, I haven't even opened any of this because I just wanted to do a first, complete first impression on my channel. I've been watching a bunch of reviews of this foundation and I heard it just goes on so beautifully with the brush. Um, definitely super full coverage, so I'm really excited to see how it works out for me. Okay, well, it's obviously got a little protector. It's clearly not protecting anything right now. I win. Okay, so here's the brush. It's definitely got an interesting shape to it. Um, the bristles seem really soft. It's also a really pretty color. It's kind of like a mauve pink. Um, and again, this is their foundation brush and it feels, it feels like it's gonna be super nice. I'm, I'm really excited. So here's crossing your fingers that this is my right color foundation. I liked watching a bunch of reviews on this beforehand um, because I've heard that this foundation dries down super quickly. So I don't know, I guess let's get started. Let's just do it, let's just go for it. So it's, oh. Okay, so that's two squirts of foundation. Let's see how this goes. I always like to dot foundation on my face first. That's just how I like to roll. So I guess let's go from there. I'll just start on my cheek. I'm just gonna go ahead and start buffing this foundation into my face um, with the foundation brush. I'm honestly not even gonna bother using a beauty blender because I just wanna use the tool that came, well, I had to buy it, but the tool that was meant to be used for this foundation. I just see it like blending in really beautifully to my skin. And you know, it's, I feel like it, it's just kind of melting into my skin. Um, and I feel like a lot of people have said the same thing when applying it, but, oh my gosh. I mean, truly, look at this. My skin looks freaking, flawless and I normally don't use brushes for my foundation at least I don't use brushes that look like this so this is definitely a new experience for me um, but so far I really like the shape of this brush I'm gonna get a little bit more foundation here but I'm gonna need a little bit more coverage up here you see I got a little nasty some over here Get my cheeks. I saw I have a lot of redness on my cheeks, so unfortunately, I usually need a lot of product to cover that up. I got a couple pimples down here. Make sure we bring it down to our jaw. Keep blending this foundation in, but so far, I'm really liking the way that this foundation is looking. Um, I definitely see it um, drying darker. There's been a lot of talk about this foundation oxidizing and I know that there was some issue on like the Fenty Beauty Instagram story about you know one of their 
artist or something saying that it was, it doesn't oxidize, it just dries darker. Personally, I, whatever. If it's something about the foundation, honestly, people are gonna recognize that and they're gonna make corrections for it, right? So, whatever will live. So, so far this foundation, I'm really liking the way that it's looking on my face. I really like how it's blended into my skin. I feel like it really has kind of like a, I don't know if it's like a blurring effect, but my skin looks smooth. Um, I have a lot of texture here on my chin. Um, and while the texture still comes through, it's not excessive like it normally is. I feel like, and it doesn't feel like the foundation's necessarily like sitting on my face. It feels like it's part of my skin. So I'm really excited to let it set a little bit and just to see how it does with the oils of my face coming through um, because I love a foundation that looks great when you put it on, but I also love a foundation that looks hot fire when you've been wearing it all day. That's so good, Brianna. I am mad. Okay, so the next product that I have from Fenty Beauty, I got the Matchstick Trio. I got mine in the color medium, and I'm really excited for these. I am so about how these are magnetic, so they all stick together. The honeycomb packaging, the pink. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. And Fen where it says Fenty Beauty on it. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It's holographic. Look at that. This is like quality attention to detail. So with the Matchstick Trios, these retail for $54. It's a $75 value. You get two matte skin sticks and then a shimmer one. So something for highlighting your under eyes and your concealer. You've got a contour and then you've got your highlights so you can blind everybody. So yeah, I'm super obsessed with these. Look at how sick these are. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the highlighting and the contouring. Um, just as I normally would. The color that comes with the medium for the highlight or the concealer is bamboo. Oh. This might not be. A great color for me, but we'll see. It might be a little, a little dark. Um, this feels creamy, but I feel like it's taking a little bit of effort to get on my skin. We'll see how we fare. I don't know how quickly these dry down. Um, I don't know if it's similar to the um, the foundation where it dries really quickly. So let's pray that it's not an eco tool sponge um, and we'll try blending this out and seeing how this goes I've never used a sponge before so I guess we'll see how it goes I don't necessarily feel that this is concealing everything I want it to so those eco tool sponges and that kind of for me so I, I went ahead and got my beauty blender damp I'm gonna add just a little bit more because I feel like it's not those Eco Tool sponges, they took away a lot of the product. So, no go. so I'm gonna go ahead and use my damp beauty blender now. Okay, I'm definitely liking this a lot more with the dampened beauty blender. So I am liking how this looks. Um, I know it's not like truly a concealer. Um, I do see that this is creasing. Um, I always get some creasing just right here. Um, so this is obviously something that I'm gonna have to set with powder. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to do my contour first. For my contour shade, I have Mocha. This is what it looks like. And you do get quite a bit of product. Oh my gosh. You get a ton of product um, in comparison to some of the contour kits that I've seen lately. No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, and contour. I don't know how dark this is gonna be, so you know, you always start in the hollows of your cheeks here get your hair out of the way and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my beauty blender for one side and I always like to turn the beauty blender on its side like this and then you know dabbing motion so far this is looking pretty good you know obviously I have to keep doing some blending work I feel like that looks good it's subtle I think but good. I like it better with the beauty blender. Just helps blend everything seamlessly. I feel like with brushes, sometimes you have to be really precise. Um, and so that's where things get difficult. So now for the fun part! We get to 
new highlight. You know, everybody loves highlight. I also got one of the Kilowatt Highlighter Duos. Everybody was obsessed with Trophy Wipe, but I knew that Trophy Wipe wasn't, wasn't really gonna look like great on me. You know, it's a pretty color, it's a pretty concept, but I saw that it's like super glittery and I love highlighters for everyday use. So the one that I got is this one. So pretty. So we have Mean Money on this side and Hustle Baby. I'm a Hustle Baby. <laughs> on the other side, look at how gorgeous these are. I knew that these would work perfectly with my skin tone. And I have another matchstick. Um, this is in the color Trippin. Look at that. Look at how beautiful this is. Let's start with the cream. I'm gonna swatch it first, actually. Oh, do you see that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes! Oh, this is gonna be sickening. I can feel it. And I'm just gonna start with my fingers, just blending it, tapping it into my skin. I don't y'all can see that, but it's super pretty. Oh, this is such a unique color. Dude. This is seriously stunning. I've never seen anything that looks quite like this in a highlighter. Can you see that glow? <laughs> I love this. I'm obsessed with this cream highlighter. I've never seen one that has sort of like this duo chrome. So I'm using a BH Cosmetics brush. Um, this is um, number three. It's from their Rose Quartz collection, which I love. I love their brushes. It's a synthetic brush, and I think it's just gonna go perfectly for highlighting. I'm gonna start with Mean Money. I know that one's a little bit more subtle, Can, this is subtle like looking just from here I can't really see it but when it catches the light just right this is it's doing me right and now I'm gonna go in with Hustle Baby using the same brush just using the other side I can tell that this is gonna be other things that I got in the matchstick trio. I love that cream highlighter. I mean, this is sickening. I love the powder highlighters. These are sickening. Everything, um, the foundation, yes, it dries quickly. Yes, it dries a little bit darker, but for me, it didn't seem like it dried like 20 shades darker. So what's the big deal about that? I don't know. Do people like to complain? Yeah. Do people like to find problems in everything? Yeah. For the most part, I'm honestly in love with everything. I highly recommend it. If you're a girl balling on a budget, I would get one of the highlighters. You know, try out all the different colors because these come in all sorts of different shade ranges. This one will look great on everybody, but it looks good on me, so I'm loving it. I would totally repurchase this again. Um, and then I also, the powder highlighters, especially these duos, I like that you get two. One's a little bit more soft and subtle, and the other one is like, bam, pow, glow. With these two items, you can't go wrong. Even just with one of these, I say do it, go for it, I approve. <laughs> Way to go Rihanna and Fenty Beauty, these things are sickening. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about the Fenty Beauty products. Did they live up to the hype for you? What worked and what didn't? Let me know and, and we'll talk soon. Follow me on Instagram, at Beauty. 
and don't forget to hit that subscribe if you like this video, like and leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!